In the last few years, many graduate school programs have made the GRE optional. So this brings forth the question, should you submit GRE scores or not? In this video, I share with you some strategies that will help you determine if taking the GRE and submitting those scores is the right strategy for your graduate school applications. What's up guys, my name is Ivan Valdovinos and on this channel I provide tips, tricks, advice, and strategies for your graduate school applications. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. The first thing that I want you to do is to actually take the GRE, or at least take a GRE practice test. The reason why I want you to do this is because I want you to see where you are at with your GRE score. So if you take a practice test or if you take the actual test, it's going to give you a benchmark. You know, it's going to it's going to allow you to see where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are. And I want you to take the test regardless if you're going to submit the scores or not for a couple of reasons. So one of the biggest reasons is because at this point, I have not personally heard uh, of external external funding sources um, you're making the GRE optional so if you are planning on applying for external funding you definitely want to take the GRE because they are probably going to be asking you for GRE scores or any standardized test scores that you are taking for your field so I want you to make sure that you are well equipped to submit applications for external funding and so take the GRE because it's going to help you with that external funding application Another reason why you should take the GRE is because it's going to help you determine your weaknesses and strengths. So like I mentioned earlier, you want to see where your benchmark is and where you stand. And for a couple of reasons, because if you score high, then you definitely want to submit those GRE scores, especially if you fall within the range of admitted students, which you can find on the websites or you can find on websites such as Grad School Cafe, which is like more like a forum where people talk about their scores and um, for certain programs. So if you do fall within that range in your GRE scores, then you definitely want to submit those scores because it's going to help the committee learn that you are capable of doing the work at that graduate level in that graduate program and the, that you are are capable of completing the graduate program that's what really the GRE score is about it's gonna help the committee to determine if you are well equipped with the skill sets to succeed in their program if you score low however that's gonna help you determine um, to focus your energies and your um, commitments on the other aspects of the application such as a statement of purpose the CV or resume the letters of recommendation and the writing sample if they ask for that so by taking a practice test or the actual test it's going to help you strategize how to best tackle the whole application process because remember GRE scores are not the sole um, reasoning why you'll get into a program it's part of a whole application and at this point most graduate school programs um, have a, a holistic approach to assessing their applicants so I want you to take the practice test and then the, the actual test to determine your strategy, to help you determine how you're gonna tackle the application process. Once you have taken the practice test or the actual test, I want you to ask yourself a couple of questions. This is gonna help you determine if you should submit those scores or not. So here are the four questions that I want you to ask. How strong is my application without GRE scores? Am I a top applicant at most schools without my GRE score? How competitive is the program I am applying to? And is the score within their typical acceptance range? The reason why I want you to ask yourself these four questions, it's because it's going to help you determine if you submit your scores. So if you are applying to a highly competitive program in your field, or let's say the Ivy League, especially for PhD programs, you want to make sure your GRE scores fit within the range that most of their applicants, I mean, their successful applicants um, fall under. And from talking about from personal experiences, I applied to the Harvard Graduate School of Education PhD program. My test scores are really low and my SOP wasn't that great either. And so um, because I didn't fit within their range in terms of the GRE scores, 
that kind of put me out of the running um, to even be considered for a spot because in PhD programs, they only accept a certain number, usually 15 to 30, depending on the program, or less. So it's very competitive. And if your GRE scores do not fall within that range, then that's going to be um, not a great thing for your application as a whole. And remember, if you are applying to these highly competitive programs in your field or the Ivy League, you know that most of their applicants are going to be top notch. So they're going to have to you know, use different ways to determine who's the best applicant. And so if you have a low score and you have really strong um, sections within the other application package and someone else has something similar to you and you're both strong in the other aspects, the GRE could help determine who's accepted and who's not because obviously you're on the same playing field in the other areas but the GRE is different so they're going to take the stronger applicant with the stronger G GRE versus someone who doesn't have a strong GRE. So I want you to think about that as well when you're applying. Let's say you don't submit a GRE score and someone else does then that can be a benefit for them if they scored really high and you didn't. And let's say you have a minor weakness or you're a little bit weak in one section of the application without a GRE score, then that could not be a good thing for you as well. So I want you to think about these things when you consider um, submitting your scores or not. Submitting GRE scores could often help offset a weakness. So if you scored really high in the overall GRE, all the sections, then that could be a good thing for you, especially for example, if you don't have research experience. So if you think that you're not gonna get into a graduate school program because you lack some research experience, then the GRE could be a good way to offset that experience. So when admissions committees are looking at your GRE score, if you score high in the, let's say, the analytical section or the, um, the reading comprehension section, that's going to show the committee that you are strong in analytical writing and critical thinking skills, which you're going to need when you're in a graduate program. Graduate school is, you know, they emphasize reading and writing. And so if you can showcase that you are a strong reader and a strong writer with the GRE, that can help you get into a PhD program, even if you don't have the experience behind it. So if you are lacking in research, if you didn't get good um, GPA, if you didn't do well in your English classes in, in undergrad, the GRE can help you offset that weakness. GRE scores could also help show your strengths. So let's say you are applying to a STEM program where they emphasize math and where they emphasize math. You want to make sure that you do well in the quantitative section of the GRE because it's going to help them, you know, it's going to give them confidence that you are well equipped with basic math concepts that are going to help you succeed in their program, in their STEM program. If you didn't do so well in your math classes during undergrad, the GR, a strong GRE score could help, could help offset that. So I want you to do well in certain sections of the GRE, especially if that's the field you want to get into. So if you are wanting to get into a social science or an English um, graduate school program, you want to make sure you do well in the writing portion, the, the analytical portion of the GRE and the comprehension portion of the GRE. If you don't do well in these two sections and you're applying for social sciences or English, for example, then don't send, send those scores. If you do well in one of the three sections, like I did, for example, then submit your scores. So when I was applying, I knew that I was going to do um, pretty bad in the multiple choice section of the GRE, but I knew that I had really strong writing skills. So I knew that my analytical score, my writing portion of the GRE was going to be strong. And I wanted to showcase to the committee that I was a strong writer. And so what I did was I scored low in the other two sections, the multiple choice sections, but I did really well in the writing section. I scored above average. So I submitted my scores and I showcased in other aspects of my application that I was a strong writer and that helped me get into top programs such as the Harvard Graduate School of Education and then Columbia's Teacher College. And so I want you to think about where are your strengths? Use the practice test that you took at the beginning to assess where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, and then determine if you want to submit those strengths and if it's going to elevate your application. That's what I did and it worked out really well for me. So I want you to think about this when you're strategizing in terms of submitting your scores or not. 
Finally, the last tip I want to give is that GRE scores could help you stand out. If you are struggling with determining like what is your niche, what can I bring to the table, what makes me unique out of all the applicants that are applying, a GRE score could help with that if you score really high. So if you are a strong test taker, if you are confident and you can study and you can create a study plan and you can do really well in every section of the GRE, that could be an advantage for you, especially if you're applying to highly competitive Ivy League programs. So if that is you, definitely take the GRE and submit those scores. If that is not you, then I want you to take the test regardless, see where you're at, and then determine if you can either score higher. And if you can't, that's okay too. What I want you to do is I want you to still take it, see where you're at, but focus your energy, your attention on the other aspects of the application. Make those as strong as you can. That way you're able to still create a strong application package and it's going to help you get into a graduate school program. All right, guys, so that concludes today's video. I hope that my tips help you determine if you should submit your GRE scores. In summary, I think that you should just take the GRE and see where you're at in terms of your benchmark. And then think about ways in which you could improve that score. Or if you're like, you know what, I can't with this test again. I can't take it no more. I don't know what to do. Then focus your attention on the other aspects of the application. When committee members are reviewing your application as a whole, it's holistic. So they don't really care that much about your standardized testing, especially if you are in the field of education. So I want you to focus your attention on other aspects and make those strong story tell and tell them why you deserve a spot in their program thank you for watching please subscribe and like this video and i will see you in the next video